Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so in a separate lecture, uh, we explain to you exactly what a Pareto chart is. We're not going to explain again how to interpret it and what it does, but we're just going to explain now in this lecture how to construct it in Minitab. So on worksheet number three, you have um, a data sheet and the, which lists the complaints that customers had about this park, okay? Um, one customer complained that the line is too long, another one complained about the staff, another one complained about food price, then about the ticket price, one person complained, etc., etc. Now we want to make a Pareto chart about that. Go to stats and then go to quality tools, click on that, Pareto chart. In this case, all the data that I need to construct this Pareto chart is in this one column, which is called complaint type. Double click on this, leave this blank. Here we see combined remaining defects into one category after this percent. If you have a, I don't know, a lot of factors, in this case I have as factors line, staff, food price, ticket price, that's not a lot, but if you have for instance 20, 30, 40, then maybe you don't want to have 20, 30, 40 um, columns. So in, instead of that, maybe you say that, you know what, the rest, so the smaller ones that make up just 5%, merge them into one column. If you want that, then tick this. But I do not want that because I do not have so many factors. So I say, do not combine. I click on OK. And ladies and gentlemen, behold, this is our Pareto chart. Okay, so we have our counts, which you know, refer to these columns. We have our cumulative percent, which refers to this line. Um, I'm not going to explain how to interpret this. This was done in a separate lecture. This lecture was just intended to show you how to construct it. Now, there's one last thing that I want to share with you, and that's this. Sometimes um, I know from practice that the data might be ordered like this. Suppose that, for instance, park management, you know, counts, a number of defects, okay, to uh, the roller coaster or any kind of ride, okay, and the defects could be of various types, the type A, type B, type C, type D, and then you just count them, how often they occur in a given period, maybe a year, okay, so in a year, six times defect A occurred, 63 times defect B, etc., etc. You find this data on worksheet number four. Now, this is an alternative way of you know, summarizing the data. It's different from how the data was summarized in a worksheet three. Because I noticed that both of them occur from time to time, I also want to show you how to deal with this because it's also possible to create a Pareto chart if your data is structured like this. Go to Stat, Quality Tools, Pareto Chart. My defects are in this column, okay? I even call it the facts. Double click on that. The frequency, so how often a defect occurs, are in the column that I call frequency. So, double click on that. Again, we do not choose for this one because we do not have so many uh, columns. But if you have, you might choose this one. And then we click on OK. All right, here we have our Pareto chart. Same principle as before, but now with data that is structured in a different way. Thank you very much for your attention.